Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Sally Face Episode 1. This is a episodic game created by Portable Moose. It's currently on Indiegogo. There's a link to that in the description. And Episode 1 is currently free while the Indiegogo campaign is underway. So the link to that is also in the description. It is a game about a boy with a prosthetic mask. Very similar looking to Fran Bow. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. As they often do. Okay. It's pretty dark here. Answer phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see! Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Okay, that's not creepy. Weird sounded like my dad. Huh. Alright then, so we got a bandaged up face, if you can see that. I'll push this. Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. Well, we should probably turn on the lights, I'm guessing. There's a light switch right here. Oh, that helps a lot. <laughs> that helps a lot. Alright, let's uh, take a look. Oh, a key! Okay, so I got a Q, and that brings up my inventory. Says number five on it. You can see my blue hair poking out of my bandages there. All right. Interesting that we came out of a uh, bricked up doorway. Hmm. We get sent back to the beginning if we do that. Not sure if we have like a hint on where to go or anything. Let's go to A. Nope. Okay, we gotta go down hallway D then, I'm pretty sure. Not P, though. D... D-O? Maybe we're supposed to spell something out. I'm not sure. There's a three right there. Okay. D-O? Dog? Doff? Do? Now that sent us back. Huh. What could we possibly be spelling? Is it dog? I want to spell dog. Maybe we're spelling donut. <laughs> it would be misspelled, but the thoughts there. Looks like a funeral in the rain. Dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Diane Fisher, beloved mother and wife. Is that my mom? Can we go this way? No. No, oh, there's a six up there. Are we getting a code? Three six something or other? Battery's not included. It's locked. Uh, okay. Three. Nope. Oh, okay. Three. Six. <laughs> I'm terrible. Three, six. It worked. Cool. Kind of weird to have a two digit passcode like that. Hello. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. What? This is your fault. Mom? Are you? And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. What? So I'm a- so I am a murderer. 
Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. What? So I am a murderer. Wow, okay. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Okay, I'll explore and make some friends. I like the holes in your pants on the knee. That's pretty good. Got the, the blue converse there, or whatever the hell that is. Hi, kitty cat. Gizmo? It does look like Gizmo from Gremlins. I see you made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Must be nice to be a cat and nap all day. I agree. What is that? That looks like a Game Boy. Gear Boy. I was wondering where that was. Oh, well shit. Goal, explore the uh, apartment. Or I could just play the Gear Boy. Looks like it needs new batteries. Well, I think I have a new mission. Look for batteries. Okay. Let's go to Dad's room. Dad, you gotta have some batteries around. Come on, man. Hey, kiddo. Decide to take a break from unpacking? It's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. I miss Mom. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Hmm. What an optimist. Little do you know I'm gonna kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. Me too, buddy. Booty. Actually, me too. Ah, uh, I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone will be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. See ya. Trying to get into too much trouble. Oh, what, like killing somebody? Hey, there's a quarter behind you. I might need that for puzzles. There's inventory puzzles, aren't there? I love inventory puzzles. Uh, let's see. Bags. Okay, can't go further into the kitchen. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. She got the bathroom. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after... After, uh, mother's death, I guess. Well... Alright then, I guess we'll leave. I can't find any, um... Can't find any batteries. No one's home. Really? Alright then. Fine. Hey, do you have any batteries? <laughs> hey! Batteries? Hello? How come do you have any batteries is not an option? Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Wow. Man, you're the one with the handlebar mustache. What are you talking about calling other people freaks? Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Wow. You're not showing me any respect, Mr. Butt-Chin. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. What are you gonna do, arrest me? Stupid weirdo kid. Grumble, grumble. Alright then, I'll come back when you're not here, because that's how adventure games tend to work. Um, let's see. Let's go. Let's go up to the fifth floor. This floor is currently being renovated for your safety. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Don't tell me what to do. Locked. Oh, that's too bad. Locked. Huh. Huh, there's a small hole here. What? I can't really see anything on the other side. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Now let's go back and check it out. Sa Sal doesn't want to. Oh well. Locked. What? Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. 
Oh shit, we found ourselves a squatter. Hello, sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. I just flip on a light switch. Fix it up real fast. Are you sure you're okay? What? What the? What? He's not there. He was never there. Okay, I guess we gotta answer the door. Bathroom? That's weird, the bathroom door is locked. Huh. What? Who knocked? Did someone knock? Hmm. Okay, let's go to the third floor. I guess I found everything I needed to find up there. 302. Ooh. Hello there. Hey. Oh. My. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Do you have any batteries, Lisa? I want to play my Gear Boy. That's priority number one right now. No one's home. Also, can you get the fuck out of my way so I can check out room 301? That'd be cool, too. What? I didn't know Sal was so scared of wet floor. Alright. I can only walk on dry floor. Let's go to 202. No one's home. Wow, no one's home a lot. Is this like the middle of the day? Sounds like lots of interesting things are going on in there. Hmm, I guess no one is home. I hear a lot of noise though. Where's all that coming from? No one's home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new to the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Whoa, he's got tons of cool shit. Looks like there's pop cap figures in the back. My Little Pony stuff. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Wow, blunt. Uh, what the hell's with your double chin and your hairy arms? Maybe you need to go get a waxing. Also, your receding hairline. See, I can be mean too. Yeah, your, your pores are all clogged on your nose, dude. Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself, I get it. Okay, maybe he's not so bad. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. What's with all the yellow on his shirt? Ugh. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Now, do you have any batteries? I want to look, though. I want to take a look. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? My god, child. Have you never seen My Glitter Ponies? Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. I, don't, I think that last part was a little over the top. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me. You won't regret it. Okay. This game's kind of funny so far. Like, I understand it's about a serial killer with a mask, but yeah, it's it's kind of fun. It reminds me a lot of like Fran Bo and Neverending Nightmares, except a lot more fun than Neverending Nightmares, and less like edgy than Fran Bo. So it's a good middle ground, I think. No one's home. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Put some clothes on, damn. Err. Stupid good-for-nothing kids, grumble grumble. What if I what if I knock again? Hi. 
You again? Why do you kids insist on making my life miserable? Please just leave me alone. When will this torture end? Oh, I feel bad now. Maybe I shouldn't knock again. I kind of want to knock again. Maybe you have to do it for like story, but... Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh, pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Well, how do you know the room I'm moving into? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Okay, can I come in? Heavens no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Okay, bye. Farewell, friend. Like a, they're, they're the only person with the name on the outside of the, the door. That's interesting. No one's home. Hi. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Trying to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye. So long. Wait, did I do that? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Oh, I didn't talk to her like I should have. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Wow, um, do you get free rent? <laughs> Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Pour your energy into that. I said pour, but... Really, it's put your energy into that. <laughs> uh, let's see, it seems like a nice place. You betcha. Okay. So I wonder, are they in like Minnesota or something? Wisconsin? Um, North Dakota? Fargo? So do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's the same you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Uh, is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Ah, uh, sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Sweet. I have authority. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time. I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. Oh, they're the Addison Apartments. That explains why Mr. Addison knew everything. Okay. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Sure. Blame the media. All right, let's go ahead and leave. See you around. All right, let's go to the basement. I'm excited to catch up with Larry. See what he's up to. I wonder if Larry has any batteries. Trash can? Trash can? Washing machine? B okay, biohazard. Uh, we could move this out of the way at some point, I guess. Go in there. Sup, Larry? I'll just let myself in. There he is with his mom. Pizza. Zelda chest. What the hell was that? What? That's the second weird thing we've seen here. This looks exactly like my bathroom, which makes sense because we're in the same apartment complex. Keep out. That's Larry's room, yeah. It's locked. Too bad we can't go in Lisa's room. 
Maybe she's got something to hide. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry? That's the wrong Yor. Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Oh, he's a painter. Oh. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So do you like, have no face under there? What happened? Wow, it's really none of your business. I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry, I live down here with my mom. Yeah, I know all that already, dipshit. I'm Sal, my friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. <laughs> Alright, Larry. Ha, that's what your mom said, too. Two outcasts bonding. Mother knows best. So why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. I would hope so. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt, SF. It stands for Sally Face. Heh. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. Huh, <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. <laughs> that poster says, your soul will be destroyed. Edgy. Headbanging! Yeah! I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. She's like headbanging. He's headbanging while he says it. Uh, there's that dog that we saw in the dream. And there's the... Wow. Okay. What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What, what is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This is some scary shit. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Oh, the track's finally over. I mean, I like metal. It was a little distracting, though. <laughs> Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. Humph. Hmm. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay, thanks. That gives me an idea of where to go next. I wanna get some Addison tea. So I can't move this out of the way, really? All right. Here I go. Uh, I think he was on floor one? Yep. Okay, let's see. Uh, As and tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. 
There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Cool. Go we'll talk to Larry in the basement. Well, I already did that, though. Should I do that some more? Wait, what do I need the T for, you think? Like, is that some sort of puzzle I need to put together? What's this thing? That's, uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some sort of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation. That should clear out the cops for sure. Wow. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make these, uh, those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Wow, these guys are best buds already. Then I can give you a heads up, too, once I know the cops are coming back. You gotta be good friends to use walkie-talkies. That's like a buddy thing. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at, like, a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Well, well, hell yeah. Got me a walkie-talkie. Getting lots of inventory items. Love it. All right, I'll go up to room f or not room four. Floor four. Go to, uh, I guess I gotta go to my room. Okay, shift. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. I'm excited. Okay, hello? There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. They don't really do chalk outlines, so... But it's it's a nice stylistic thing to have in there. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Yeah, those are figures. Huh. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about that it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Yeah, sure. Alright, here we go. Me, uh, on, uh, this Mission Impossible shit again. Oh wait, no, it's not floor three. Sorry, it's, uh, floor two? Baggy. Uh, which one was it? Oh, here it is. Sup? So... Yep, I know, you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah... Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it's nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. 
All right. Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Well, you just took it from a kid, dude. Wow. Ah, so tasty. So relaxing. So sleep-inducing. Ah, I must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. Wow. That, like, that was, like, no, there was, like, no chance. That was, you had to do it super quick. Aha. Sleep aids. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. All right, good. That was what I was supposed to do. I was sitting there like, the tea, the tea is not working. Like, <laughs> he is not falling asleep for long enough. All right, so this should get it for sure, I hope. All right, here you go. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today, as surprising as that sounds. What, what, what? But you love it. Really? But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I've probably had at least 20 cups today. Mm, no, nope. you've had, you've had, uh, you've had two. Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even, oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Good. Good. Ah, this is better than his original. I don't know how he... Thank you. Got the toy. Score. Fuck yes. Alright. So wait, Larry wants me to come down to the basement when I get a chance? Well, but what about the... Am I supposed to go, like, straight to the detective? Hang on. Larry, I got it. Listen. I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. All I need to do is give it to that detective and it'll be all over. Let's ask him if this place is haunted. What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. Can't usually miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw them with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Okay. Cool. Let's, uh... Let's go. Yes. Um. Hey, detective, I have some great evidence for you. It's this toy. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How'd you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got... Cool. Welcome home. So I can go outside if I want now? I can leave? Huh. Hello, everyone. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Oh! Charlie's going away, huh? I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Hmm. Well, putting you away for good. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Why would they have the face open? Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. 15 years old and had already... Wait. 15 years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? 
What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? I've been over this. I lost, I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I. It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. Oh, so we might be innocent. So that was episode one of Sally Face. That was pretty cool. I got kind of sucked in a little bit. Yeah. Little, little short. But um, I believe the episode is generally three bucks. Um, yeah, so this was all made by one dude. He did all the design, the art, and music. So that is definitely commendable. Uh, but yeah, once again, this game is on Indiegogo. I'm not sure how many episodes are planned for the future, but... Um, yeah, if you want to contribute to, to help fund the game, there's a link to that in the description. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I think... I don't think it's as deep as, like, Franbo, like, in terms of gameplay, like, puzzles and stuff, and, you know, just general content, but, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it has, has a good style to it, you know, it's, um, it's kind of creepy, and, I don't know, I just like, you know, kind of cartoony, uh, side-scrolling adventure titles like this, so, yeah, I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.